Hello everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today we are going to look at Bang Bang for Super Dungeon Explorer. This is one of the new master class Super Dungeon Explorer models that Ninja Division is making, or Soda Pop, or whoever they are. Anyway, don't pay too much attention to the back because it says it comes with Bang Bang and Mr. Milky. It actually only is Bang Bang, and I went and double checked online, and yeah, it was only supposed to be Bang Bang. So... As you can see, <clears throat> got the card with a lot of words on it. We have a boring basic black base, which is a little bit disappointing because if you've seen the Super Dungeon models, they usually have the kind of textured bases, but eh, not the end of the world. So, Bang Bang herself consists of two parts. We've got the entire body already put together, and then we've got her giant head with the hat on there. So, I've always had a thing for steampunk cowboy types, so she was a nice and easy fit. Does look like I need a little bit of cleanup, especially on the hair and on the lower part of her dress or her jacket or whatever that is. Uh... Not sure exactly how she's going to be able to stand, though, if I clean that up too much. So I'm going to go mess with that block of resin around her feet and figure out just what's going on there, and we'll get her all put together. All right, well, I'm at a loss here. I cleaned up the bottom part of her body, and I left a little bit. I'm not really sure how she's supposed to go on her base. Now, according to the artwork she's leaning forward on her right foot like this but then if I attach her to the base which I can't really because there's a tiny little contact point and it's a slot of base you're not really gonna be able to see much of the body and even though I know that the head is a big part of the draw I feel like you know it's kind of just wasting the body and all the detail that's in there the other problem is that there's no real definition on the back of this leg. I mean, I'm going to have to carve it out. I carved a significant chunk, but I need my files and really thin, flexible knife blades. They're all upstairs, and it's getting dark, so I'm going to wait till tomorrow to mess with that, probably. But, you know, with her foot kind of kicking forward like this or leaning back, it works just as much. And even then, I could kind of lean it forward, possibly a little bit. I don't know. So... I'm really undecided, and even if I have her leaning forward, I noticed, grabbing another Super Dungeon model. Now, I know the Tabby Book Brook Mage is a little bit taller than normal. I grabbed a Arashikage from Ninja All-Stars here. Oh, that's Hanzo, sorry. Hotsuma. So, just kind of standing her up here, propping her forward. She's even shorter than Hanzo. I'm not sure. Whereas if I kind of stand her up, at least she kind of blends in a little bit better. So I'm really kind of at a loss. The detail on the body is there. I'm really kind of bummed out about the giant block of resin that I had to clean out there. But otherwise, it wasn't too bad. I got to say, my first Masterclass figure from Super Dungeon Explorer eh, left me... A little less than pleased. I was happier with the Relic Knight stuff that I'd bought. And, I mean, yeah, technically Bang Bang is a Relic Knight's model. But, you know, that's just being nitpicky. And, I mean, I, I really like the whole steampunk gun witch look to her. You know, it's giving me shades of Bayonetta there. So, I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, put it down there in the comments. I'm still going to go ahead and progress with cleaning up the under the coat. And I'm going to keep the pieces separate for painting because if I go ahead and glue them like so, you really can't get anything under the hair painted. So I would like to kind of do that still. And I mean, it really gets in the way of just about everything on the model. Sadly, I'd have to say that unless you're really good with working with resin, I, I kind of would steer clear of these if you're just a board gamer type. I mean, I, I guess if you don't mind the cleanup, I mean, I don't mind it at all, because it's what I do is build models all day anyways. So it doesn't really phase me too much, but I think if you're looking at just getting these for game playing, I don't know what to tell you, because I would say find somebody you know who can build the models and can at least put it together nicely for you. I really don't know. 
I really feel like if I put her like this with the right foot down, it's just too short. There's no space between the body and the base. It's so tiny. Ah, I don't know. Give me your thoughts below. This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying, help me figure this out because I'm scratching my head. Bye-bye.